Hey everybody, thanks for watching. A little squeaky chair back here with you. Um, today I wanted to talk about, or just give you an introduction to uh, Hill Country style blues. Uh, music in the style of R.L. Burnside, Junior Kimbrough were the two probably the biggest well-known ones. You could also go back to Fred McDowell, Mississippi Fred McDowell for this style. Um, goes back, you know, centuries honestly, but um, just for this, the purposes of this video, I want to just want to talk about specifically um, some techniques that guys like R.L. Burnside or Junior Kimbrough, uh, which are kind of the modern giants of the style of music, would, would use. Okay, so one of the important things is you're going to have to play with your fingers here. Your, your thumb especially is going to be a real important thing for keeping your time and keeping that, that sort of famous drone sound that this style of music is, um, is known for. So um, primarily we're, we're going to be playing a straight groove, uh, specifically a two beat. So think of the drummer just their job is just kick snare, kick snare, kick snare, kick snare, kick snare. Okay, so your thumb is going to copy that. So um, let me give you a just, I'll just play a little bit and then I'll break down kind of what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to be playing in the key of A, key of A, so I can have that nice droning bass note right there. Okay, so. the idea and in the past we've talked about you know if you're playing uh, like a Piedmont style blues you want to really sing or a Travis style guitar you want to kind of syncopate that thumb like that okay this is the same type of groove but instead of playing the alternating between the one and the five or so in the key of A instead of alternating between the one and the five you're gonna be playing essentially that same groove but you're just gonna be playing it on the one chord changes and a lot of this stuff is just on the one the whole time and it gives it that kind of hypnotic kind of droning groove that like I said this style of music is is famous for so mess around with getting that groove just right Emphasize the two, the two in the groove, not the not the chord, the two. So my time was not great there, but um, so get a get a nice metronome going, nice comfortable metronome speed going. Start off slow if you need to. And then the other stuff is just so in the key of A that you can emphasize that, that A chord on the upstroke with your index finger. Otherwise, I'm just kind of noodling around essentially in an A minor, you know, pentatonic style. to let that open A ring out when you're playing so so you, you kind of use a lot of the same techniques as you would in just like a straight delta blues but 
it's just a different feel. It's got that droning kind of feel. Said, listen to a lot of Junior Kimbrough, a lot of R.L. Burnside to kind of give you, give you an idea of the feel, and uh, get that thumb in shape and locked in with the groove, and just kind of explore and see what you can come up with, come up with some of your own ideas, and and uh, just have fun with it. Okay, so there you go. That's an introduction to Hill Country Blues. We'll do a lot more on that stuff uh, later on, but that'll be good for now. Okay, thanks for watching.